Mm, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, I'm playing this through Pokemon Stadium 2 on the N64. If you use the transfer pack, you can load up uh, any of the Generation 2 and Generation 1 games. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I've been uh, planning this run for a little bit, uh, ever since uh, we picked up gold on the virtual console for 3DS at work with a friend. Uh, I've been pl playing with him a lot, so I got into the into being a little bit competitive with him at least. It's pretty fun. But uh, I, I grabbed a fret and I kind of fell in love with it. And it uh, it's been a blast. Uh, I decided that I, I think I might be able to beat a game, beat the whole game with one. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot. I've already prepped this file. Uh, I picked Cyndaquil at the first, beat everyone up to where you can catch a Pokemon. Caught a Sentret, got it up to level 5, and immediately put the Cyndaquil back in the box. So, all we got on us is our level 5 Sentret. So this will be fun. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. I don't plan on doing any real grinding. I honestly just plan on playing the game. Um, I'm just going to beat trainers as they come along. We're going to do all that sort of nonsense. It'll be pretty fun, I think. Oh no, not a hoot hoot. I think we might be doomed. Alright, oh, we're going to be in for a... Oh, <laughs> we're already in for a bad time, it seems. All right. <laughs> All, right. All right, cool. No, we got this. This is going to be easy. I, I already know this. Boom. Hit him with the tackle. So let's see. Fatal Bullet. It's a Sword Art online game that came out in NA today, but it didn't come out over here due to ESRB rating change. Ah. Uh, See, there's a lot of that ESRB stuff going around. It's it's a little bit silly, but I don't know. I really don't mind it. I mean, it, it's there to protect people. It, it does its job for the most part, even if it is a little bit uh, more, I know, restrictive, especially like overseas, Australia. That one's a big one I hear. Only Centret, did you have Moxie? If if only Centret, did you have Moxie? Yeah, that, that's going to be the only one. Uh, I caught that immediately after beating Silver, naming him, and being able to use Pokeballs. So, we're just going to jump right in. Moxie's going to be uh, be my main through the entire game, I believe. Now, I also plan on using this file to train up some other stuff in, in, in non-recording time. I might record it just for fun or uh, stream it just to goof around a little bit, but... In the off time, because I'm playing this on Pokemon Stadium 2, um, I'm going to plan on raising as many Pokemon as I can so I can play Pokemon Stadium as well, because it's a game I never actually beat as a kid. Oh, if only Sentret had Moxie. Oh, let me tell you. Oh, that would be fantastic, especially for this playthrough. Oh, oh I, 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 what did I have? I had... I th it was a Salamence in, in one of the Gen 6 games that had Moxie, and oh, it was absolutely awesome. It was fantastic. That ability is just great. <laughs> uh, Moxie, though. No, the name. Um, I actually got that from an old roommate I had. Uh, he, he had a bunch of ferrets, and one of them's named was Moxie. Uh, named after uh, Moxie from Borderlands, I believe. <laughs> so that, that's a little bit of a joke. Uh, that's a friend I haven't really talked to in a while. May, may, we're, we've been going back and forth, uh, sorta. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, what are we at? Alright, still here. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go beat Joey. Go collect a berry. Go, go beat up Joey. Now, for the, for the rest of the stuff, like HMs and whatnot, I do plan on having, like, other Pokemon with me, but I think what I'll do is like another person I know who plays did and just have it faint immediately throw it into battle let it just kind of die and then uh we'll let it just sit in the party but you know if if center it faints then there's nothing else we'll immediately fail out so that's fine 
Um, I'm, I don't plan on doing any save scumming. We're not gonna save right before, you know, a hard fight or something at the Elite Four and keep trying to fight it over and over. I don't plan on using any items. Uh, I just don't really enjoy using items. I like playing stadium style, <laughs> as it were, I suppose. I mean, I'll use held items. There's, there's no doubt about that. Held items are just almost a necessity, so. Let's see. Let's beat up Joey here. Boom. Done. That going to level us up? There we go. Not bad. No, actually, that's fairly bad. That's... Oh, uh, that's... That's about... What a level 5 maximum DV center it would be. <laughs> so, it's not great, but uh, could be better. Should we, should we get his... We'll get his number. Joey's a blast. See, we'll be like Joey. We'll stick to this one no matter what. It'll be like Karen said, uh, a truly strong trainer wins with their favorites, and that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> no, the DVs are terrible, unfortunately. We're gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we're gonna be destroying all these children, taking all their lunch money, and hopefully using that money uh, to buy some delicious vitamins that we can feed this thing. <laughs> Oh man, I think I want to pour it all into like health and uh, maybe like attack and speed just to get the maximum uh, benefit out of this guy. We'll have to see. <laughs> <coughs> so far not so bad though. This, this, this run is going to be pretty good. I I'm pretty excited for this. Especially since everything seems to be missing. What is, what is this RNG for me? Good lord. I am enjoying this. Oh, my defense. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. I think I got like a potion or something on me. Ooh, we got that extra one in there. Come on, knock him out. Mm, there we go. Not bad, not bad. All right, Mikey is down. <laughs> Yeah, you did win before, but you suck now because you have to fight me. All right, got to go back and heal. <laughs> I don't think we'll be fighting every wild Pokemon we find, though. I think that would be a little bit ridiculous. Maybe just the good ones. I do think I'll try and um, be clever about which ones we fight. I think I'll, I'll take on, like, Caterpies, uh, Rattatas, anything that's got, like, good speed or HP, anything that can give us attack. Once you are done with this run, are you going to do some stadium matches? Yes, absolutely. I really, really think that'll be fun. I, I already did that. Crap, I'm not paying any attention, am I? <laughs> All right, getting lost here, getting lost. Yes, I am absolutely planning on doing some stadium stuff. Uh, I'm really excited to do that. Uh, there, there's not a whole lot of stadium stuff, it seems, online, so I think it'll be kind of fun to jump into that scene a little bit, maybe... Uh, try and beat the runs. I never actually beat round one as a kid. I never beat round two as a kid. So I'm, I'm doing it. I, that's my plan. I'm going to go through. I'm going to use Pokemon from this game. I also got a copy of Yellow so I can uh, get my trade evolutions. I do plan on using a Steelix for uh, my admin namesake. We're going to we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a Steelix. We're going to we're going to go ahead and use it. Beat, beat the uh, the gym leader castle. Hopefully go through all the cups and whatnot. I, I plan on doing that. And what's, what's fun, uh, a little bit of fun for me, is I won't actually be able to cheat in this. I won't be able to use any of the clones or anything, which, mm, cheating here or there, it depends on your idea of cheating. It, it's, it's built in, it's a glitch, it shouldn't exist, but it does. Um, but I won't be able to use it regardless, just because of the way that Stadium works when you save the game. When you save the game, you're not actually allowed to do a soft reset, or you can't hit that C button up. As you see on the menu like I just hit you can't hit that when you're saving in the game so I won't be able to do any cloning at all so whatever I do in this game I'm gonna have to earn it the hard way which I, I'm okay with that I think that'll be fun it, it, it keeps everything fair it keeps it uh, nice and fun I'll have to really pour my heart into playing so th that's gonna be a blast I think this isn't so bad I think the Pokemon games are a little bit sort of meant to be 
played with almost one Pokemon. I remember playing as a kid with like just Cyndaquil through the whole game, being able to evolve it up to Quilava and then Typhlosion and then I remember at one point having it nice and leveled up, probably like level 60 or 70 and being able to take on the entire Elite Four, no problem. Mom, hello? Oh no, I forgot to talk to mom. See, that's how early I am in the game, just so everyone knows. What about money? Should I save it? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot to talk to mom. You know, I actually saved in town, in New Park Town, to try and remember. Talk to mom before you head out. Nope. Completely forgot. <laughs> can't do the Celebi glitch. No, it's kind of a bummer. I won't be able to get anything like that. But I do have a copy of Yellow, and if I'm not mistaken, wow, you can find Ghastly out here? Uh, hello. That'll be a little bit of an issue for me. We're gonna have to run right from him. I can't hurt that thing, which means I'm gonna have to skip the Sprout Tower. Uh, we're gonna have to maybe train up a little bit, but um, yeah, Celebi glitch. I won't be able to do that, but like I said, I've got a copy of Yellow. Uh, which means I can do the Mew Glitch at least. I think that'll be fun. Um, I did a little bit of digging around online and there's a couple other weird glitches that you might be able to pull off. Well, that you can definitely pull off. One of them's just a lot of complicated weirdness that you can do in yellow and uh, a couple of the red and blue and all that. And it it allows you to use like the coin case maybe to to that's this game it allows you to use weird items in the in the menu as like ram or something it, it basically lets you uh, edit certain pokemon depending on what sort of uh items you've got in your inventory and whatnot and one of them is uh i want uh, someone figured out exactly the right you know hex numbers and all that to get it so that if you've got a Pikachu in your party in the right spot and the right slot and all that and you use a certain item at a certain time, it will replace one move with Surf. And I think that would be great. I really would love to do that and, and get that recorded just to just to give it a test to see if I can do it. And uh, I, I think it'd be a lot of fun. That'd be, uh, be really interesting. The Mew Glitch I already know how to do, but uh, I'd like to go a step further and maybe go uh, be able to do... Uh, do the the crazy glitches where you can reteach moves. <sighs> Ooh, a Weedle. Gotta watch out for that poison. I think it'll be a, it'll be pretty fun, uh, especially trying to do it on a stadium's emulation since they. Uh, they went through and you made it so some of the stuff won't work. Like I said, I won't be able to do any cloning or whatnot in this game, which is a bit of a bummer, but it's it's fine. It'll be fun. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm glad we're fighting all these Caterpies, though. That's going to get us a lot of HP for our uh, DVs. <laughs> Not DVs, our... Uh, are these uh, in EVs in this? Are they technically effort? Well, they're experience. Points, stats, or whatnot. Should we get Wade's number? Wade, I believe, gives us free berries. I think we'll go ahead and get Wade's number. You're awesome. Thank you. I like you. When I'm in the grass, I find all kinds of berries. If you'd like, I'll share some. Could I get your phone number? Absolutely, bud. Absolutely. Doing an audio-only stream because there's no video. No, there there should be video. If there's no video, it's, it's probably a problem with... Uh, Twitch and all that. I don't know what's going on. Surfing Pikachu in Stadium 1. Yep, I, I would love to get around to doing that also. I think that would be really fun. Let's see. I'm getting video on my end. So, I definitely think it might be you. I I, I know it's, it's bugging out a little bit. It's going a little bit weird over here. Looks like it's lagging a little. No, but it should be okay. Okay. Let's see, forget the Surfing Pikachu, yep, Surfing Pikachu in Stadium 1. I am thinking about picking up a copy of Stadium 1. I've, I've been buying a lot of these uh, retro games lately. I, I picked up a copy of Stadium 2, a controller, two transfer packs, yellow. Oh man, I got the works. I even accidentally got a uh, extra, uh, an extra Nintendo 64. Which is kind of funny, which I modded uh, with a little bit of a light inside. It works with the power switch, which is uh, which is really fun. I think that was cool. 
gave me something to do for a couple hours. <laughs> All right, let's see. There's no real trainers I'm going to be able to get to from here. Let's see. I think I can take on the first guy in the Sprout Tower. We'll try that. Yeah, we'll try him. We'll try the first guy in here. I think I might be able to take him on. <laughs> I don't know if I can even go up and get Flash. Ooh, I might have to wait until I beat Faulkner here and get Mud Slap. See, that's going to be what's uh, a little bit weird about this also, is I'm also going to have to uh, deal with, like, teaching Sentret slash Furret some moves here. We're going to have to teach Moxie good stuff along the way, and it's kind of a bummer that I have to waste a few of the good TMs. Um... I'm pretty sure I'm going to teach... Oh, ooh, hit the mic. <laughs> well, I was planning on teaching this this particular Furret or Sentret Shadow Ball eventually because that gives me a really good edge later on. Um, but I also don't want to waste it because I'll also be able to use Shadow Ball on basically anything else in this entire game. <laughs> when it comes down to playing a uh, stadium itself and I really don't want to waste that now I th think I might be able to like transfer some of the Pokemon from this over and maybe like reset this file and keep going that way or I might just spring and get a freaking Game Boy or something <laughs> and just play it on there and be able to do the glitch in person that would be uh that'd be one way to go go about doing that We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I think I might do that. Wait a couple of paychecks and see how much money we've got. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, level eight. Let's see. I think we'll go outside. We'll train up a little bit. Strength isn't too bad. You're right. Absolutely. I am considering that for this um if anyone follows one of the pages i run uh it's gym leader flannery on facebook uh which is where i'm sure a lot of people are actually coming from for this because uh, i doubt anyone's following me straight from twitch <laughs> which would be kind of interesting but uh besides that uh on that page we've been talking um and one of the things i was talking about was trying to get breed double edge onto a furret and I think that would be a fantastic choice and when it comes to tournament and playing in stadium itself that's what I'm going to use I'm going to have a furret with a double edge and that thing is going to destroy I'm so excited for that um, but for this playthrough I might actually go ahead and do strength on this guy and surf just because both are really especially oh that's not good especially surf damn Fainted. <laughs> That's a bummer. Oh well. Cool. Right back here. Um, but strength and surf. Both of those are really good. I think I might go with both of those, especially strength. That one will get a stab uh, bonus on, so that'll really boost that guy up. I, uh, I'm not sure what strength's power is at maybe like 90 95 really high so plus a stab it, it would be a fantastic addition all right i think i can take out a bell sprout this shouldn't be too hard <laughs> i'm having a little bit of reservations about this uh run now considering i just lost to a freaking bird <laughs> it's a little bit of a bummer but no problems we got this 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 is easy this is fun. We got this. <laughs> if you complete round one on Stadium 2, you get the Doduo Game Boy to make the game run 2x faster. Yes, that is something else I want to unlock. I want to get all the unlocks for Stadium. Because um, it was, once again, something I never actually did as a kid. I think it would be awesome fun. Um, the Doduo Game Boy and Dojo Game Boy, those are hilariously cool. I would love to do that. Um, I think I'm going to do that. That's going to be up there in one of the plans we do here. What are some of the other unlocks? I believe you can um, 
just by like completing round the certain rounds and whatnot you actually get uh mew mew to the the legendaries available as rental pokemon which I, it's not big to unlock but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do that anyway just just to have it you know <laughs> Plus, I've seen the alternate title screen, and it's gorgeous. I would love to have that on my own copy, which is really fun. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that there's still copies of these games available online. Well, and, and local game stores, I'm sure, if you look. They're all a little bit uh, pricey just because of the games that they actually are, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna have a blast with this, so uh, I, I think it was worth it, definitely. All right, heal up. Let's see, I think we're level 9 now. Doo -doo -doo. I think we might be able to just jump right into Faulkner's gym. Let's go ahead and uh, take him on. Hold up. Talk to these guys in here. Guy named Bill made the Pokemon storage system. Yeah, Bill's alright. He's a, he's a furry from what I've heard. It was around three years ago. Team Rocket was up to no good with Pokemon. But just pre justice prevailed. A young kid broke him up. Who could he be talking about? Pokemon are smart. They won't obey a trainer they won't respect. Without the right gym badges, they will just do as they please. With any luck, our Furret will not do that. Round two is a nightmare with its gym leaders. <laughs> yes, I'm I'm super excited for it though. Um I've been playing hit the wrong button. Been playing through the challenge cup on this one. And I've beaten the first two matches. With the, the challenge cup is a uh, randomized Pokemon that they give you for your team, and then you know it's uh, mm, no, I just believe it's just randomized Pokemon, maybe maybe lower levels. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, but I've been doing that, and oh man, it's it's tough, but it is fun. It is just interesting trying to really think about having to use a uh, Pokemon around like level 30 or 50, I believe. I'm not, I don't remember. But it, it is, it's interesting, especially since it's Pokemon that I didn't raise with moves I didn't put on with, uh, you know, experience points being spread in a way that I would like. Oh man, this Sparrow is going to destroy me. Oh no. Oh no. We lost again. Bad idea. All right, we're going to have to grind a little bit then. Dang, we're getting our ass kicked. <laughs> Pardon the language. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and train up a little bit. I think we can get to like level 11 and we'll go ahead and jump in there. Poliwag, you, you should be easy to take out. Ma -na -ma -ma -ma. I think I mentioned it once before somewhere but I really love the dynamic music that they've introduced in Pokemon like even as far back as this how at night the battle theme is just a slight different I think stuff like that is cool <laughs> close one it was close I, I we'll get him next time we're gonna get him <laughs> all right keep training spin rack oh, one of my favorites such a cutie not very powerful, not it, even its evolution could do with a little bit of a, a buff, I believe, but... Ah, poison, come on. Uh, let's go ahead and try and power through, let's see. Poison doesn't reduce attack, that's burn, so let's see. Might be able to <laughs> beat this bug. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, there we go. A little bit more, we'll take this guy out and go heal up. Ah, uh, what a bummer. If only, like, Joey or Wade would have called me already. <laughs> I know we just met, but dang, guys. All right. Ooh, man. That poison. <laughs> oh, poison is going to be interesting once we're uh, out in the real world. What's the plan for Whitney? You know, I've... I beat Whitney once before with Sentret. Um, I think I just used Swift the entire time. I got lucky and she missed rollout the first time. Um, I got that posted up online somewhere. I'll, I'll try and uh, 
bring that up again somewhere. It was a pretty fun battle. <laughs> but I, I think that's a really good plan. Um, Swift doesn't miss, so it's really useful for all that sort of stuff. Um, I think what we'll do for Whitney is I think since we're going to throw Mud Slap on Moxie here, we'll go ahead and hit it with a couple of those to try and uh, make sure we don't die. <laughs> Depending on where we're at with um, stats, move, pool, and all that. Um, if I've still got defense curl, I might be able to buff myself up a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I think that'll be a good plan. Hit, hit her with a couple of months laps. Uh, that'll, that'll usually drain down accuracy enough. If it's not working, hit, hit him up with a couple of defense curls here. And I think, I think we'd be all right to go ahead and uh, power through that. Furret though is, is going to be infinitely better than a Centret here <laughs> trying to take out a couple of bugs and not doing too well. <laughs> Alright, come on. Give me some Pokemon. Give me something good. Ah, Poliwag. Excellent. Take a drink here. Wow. Outsped me. Very good. <laughs> Let's see. I know Poliwag, Poly, uh, Polyrath, and Politoed stats are pretty interesting, and I've never actually used a Poly Politoed. <laughs> that one would be fun um, because I've got a copy of a. Uh, a legit copy of yellow and this is running a legit copy of crystal I am planning on um, being able to do trade evolution so yeah I, I will be able to get a namesake namesake Steelix uh, I do want a scissor scissor is just awesome that'll be fun plus whatever other trades we can get I, I want to try and build up a pretty decent team on here ah poisoned again Ice Punch and Hope for Freeze. That is a good idea. Um, that is up there in the ideas. Um, I could replace out Surf for Ice Punch. Ice... Ooh. Forgot about being poisoned. Let's go ahead and go heal up. <laughs> Where can I change the language for Twitch? I want it in English. Um, you know, I'm not sure. <laughs> I've only ever done it in English. Uh, I'd say, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm running on autopilot. Bye. Ooh, wrong thing. All right. Uh, change the language. I I'd say either Google it, my friend. Go ahead and Google exactly what you just said. Um, language. Uh, change language. Twitch. Go ahead and just Google that. I'm pretty sure it'll give you a good link, and that'll that'll help you out. Uh, Otherwise, uh, it's usually at the bottom of websites. They like to put the language type stuff. <laughs> that, that'll that be your best bet. Ice punch, though. Um, that is a good idea. That would really help out. Let's see. What is ice good against, though? It's good against dragon and flying, I believe. And that's pretty much it. Um, whereas... Ooh, that's not good. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Do I really have to go all the way back? I think I do. <laughs> oh, he's ghastly. That's that's atrocious. Can't believe that just happened. Come on. <laughs> Ice punch is good against dragon and flying. And there's plenty of those. Let's let's be honest. There's plenty of those in the game. Um what will we be fighting a lot of? Um, I believe Ice Punch will actually be really helpful for possibly going up against Lance, especially. Like, going for uh, the championship. Grass. Grass and ground is what Ice is also good against. Okay. I'll have to double check that myself just to make sure on everything, but that sounds about right. I know Rock is good against Ice. That's one I always actually mixed up myself. I don't know why I always did that. You ever, you ever throw a rock at uh, some ice? It shatters. I don't know why I ever thought different. 
let's see, what are some other attacks? Uh, Shadow Ball is definitely up there on the list just to be able to uh, take out like psychic types and ghost types. Um, Cause Morty, let me tell you, Morty is going to be another nightmare. Everyone talks about Whitney being, being a tough one that I'm gonna have to go against. No, 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 no. Morty is the one I'm worried about. Um, he can't hurt me, like at all, which is helpful. Like, and none of his actual attacks will be able to hurt me. But if he gets a hypnosis off and he gets a nightmare off, it starts to go down. So I might either have to come in with some uh, full heals or have some uh, some berries on me that'll heal that up or uh, I might just have to uh, power through it and hope that I can uh, not fall asleep I know hypnosis has a low uh, accuracy but you know how these games are they like to uh, they like to cheat in the game's favor <laughs> or so it seems sometimes I think we can keep going I don't think we need to go ahead and heal yet let's go ahead and save though just in case we are running on a sort of emulation <laughs> we were having some issues when I first loaded this guy up didn't want to run correctly I really wanted to do this with legit stuff that's that's one thing I wanted to, to do I want to be proud of that I want to be able to stream with like actual the actual hardware everything's legit um, I didn't want to buy a 3DS streaming kit. Good lord, they're expensive. It's like $350. I mean, I didn't shop around or anything. I just kind of Googled it and looked. But, you know, I don't have $350 to blow on that type of stuff. Um, I, if I'm going to do that, if I'm going to use that money, I'm going to buy myself, uh, you know, the actual stuff. I, I would love to have a, a lovely retro collection <laughs> instead of uh, one thing to stream 3DS stuff. <laughs> And I'm happy I got all this retro stuff. It's it's a lot of fun being able to relive it a little bit. I'm not a not a big proprietor of nostalgia. I don't think it's uh, something young kids are should be worried about. I'm I'm fairly young myself. I you know still so I don't want to say this is a nostalgia trip or anything. But it was fairly young when I was playing this. I'd say I was like 13 years old when I was still playing the heck out of this. Let's see. Should we heal? I think we might be able to take this one. All right, another bell sprout. That'll raise our special, uh, special stats a bit. Hoping for a couple caterpies, but we're not seeming to get that. That's okay though. Na -na 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 -na. Let's see. Fainted. Excellent. Can still keep going. I think we might be able to make it to 11. Might have to leave and watch when you get home. Oh, man. No video and the audio keeps cutting out. That's a bummer, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, but, you know, it, it'll still be up. Definitely. Ooh. Hit me with that leech life. I think that's another Pokemon I'll go ahead and grab eventually is uh for the for the actual tournament stuff as a crowbat. That that thing's a monster. That thing eats through stuff. Let's see, rule for random shinies. Oh, uh you know if I if I see one I'm catching it, you know, because like I said, I, I plan on using this file for some other stuff also. Um when it comes to gameplay itself, I'm I'm doing Centra slash for it only it's gonna be moxie for the entire gameplay um, But for like side stuff uh, when I when I'm leveling up um, For stuff for the game. Yeah, no if I, if I find something while we're, while we're going and it's a shiny Ooh, I will try for it. Absolutely <laughs> No doubt about it. I, I think it would be fun especially since I'm running legit carts um, I actually got lucky on on my 3ds on crystal I, or was it crystal or gold? I believe it was gold, actually. Um, I was training my Umbreon up against, uh, what was it? Uh, Shuckles. We were fighting Shuckles. <laughs> I was trying to raise up the defense and special defense uh, experience stat points a lot. I was really trying to grind that up. Ah, poisoned again. Man, these guys. Um, but yeah, I was doing that, and I, I was using Rock Smash along Olivine. 
and I got lucky. I got a Krabby, a shiny Krabby. It was just crazy. I'm sitting there zoning out, watching like wrestling or something. I don't remember. And I'm, I'm just listening to the sound of the game and you just hear it, brrrink, the little noise it makes when a shiny pops up. And I do a little bit of a double take and I'm like, oh my gosh, what do you know? A shiny, that's crazy. It's really cool. Um, we were able to uh, mess with the game a little bit on our on our 3DS uh, virtual console versions, and we managed to get uh, the shiny ditto doing the the Gyarados and mimic trick. So uh, me and my buddy got shiny ditto. So it's we're able to actually breed shiny stuff a heck of a lot easier than it would be trying to just find one, which is so much fun. Like it's really cool being able to almost control it especially with the uh, like egg moves and whatnot that's a lot of fun i think we're at level 11 now i think we should be able to do this let's go ahead and save again let's see where we're at oh my money my money i should have given it all to my mother what am i doing <laughs> all right we've been going for about 40 minutes uh since i had about a half hour on this already on the on the cartridge since I had to set the game up with uh center it cool uh it seems you got your uh your, your your language set up that's good glad to hear that absolutely that's cool nice I'm glad we got a couple people here this is this is really fun I'm glad uh we got some people going along I don't know why I'm using tackle <laughs> all right here's what we do we hit select and we swap there we go oh there we go now the game is in my hands this will go a lot better there we go perfect much better cool cool there we go all right we're gonna have to go <laughs> we're gonna have to go heal up on that kind of kind of wiped us out a little bit there I'm kind of bummed that I can't use the Sprout Tower. Um, I'm not sure what the trainers in there have got. I know there's Ghastlies that'll appear in there, and I'm already having issues with those guys, so I'm not going to really chance it since I've got nothing that can hurt uh, hurt them yet. I might be. I might go ahead and go back through there just to get Flash um, once we get Mud Slap, because we're immediately going to throw that on uh, Moxie here. Moxie's going to need that for a lot of stuff. Let's see, let's go ahead, put a berry on you. All right, save just in case. I don't want any uh, bugs or anything <laughs> since we were running into some issues before. All right, trainer number two, the keyword is guts. And that's what I'm gonna be spilling, my friend, your guts. Why do you have your arm out, bud? There's no, there's no bird. There's the bird, and that's a large bird. You don't want that bird on your arm. <laughs> it's kind of funny, um, just because of like the way that Pokemon actually are. The the actual sizes of them are vastly different than what you would imagine. Um, Centret is huge, like it is enormous. It is it is probably like I think it's like three or four feet tall. It's it's the size of a small child. <laughs> it's pretty fun so I mean if Pokemon if Pokemon were real goodness goodness it'd be be different it'd be very strange cool this is going really good I think once we beat this guy we'll go outside um, we'll go ahead and level up once more and I will go ahead and try Faulkner we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot Ah, it's a bummer. What a waste of a berry. All right. That's okay, though. That's okay. Birdkeeper Rod. That is not an item you get in Pokemon, my friends. That was that guy's name. Birdkeeper Rod. I like that they changed the naming system a little bit in the later games, because, man, it was a little bit silly back here. <laughs> I mean, at least this was a step up from, uh, you know, Pokemon, uh, the, the original GB, uh, GB games, red, blue, and yellow, just fighting a lass over and over. Wade, 
my buddy. My Pokemon are growing. Your Pokemon are growing a bit too quickly for you. No, they're not. They're all just Caterpies, my friend. I know it's a common Pokemon, but it got away when we almost had it. Uh, that's a bummer, dude. That's a bummer. Call me when you've got something for me. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and level up. And then I think we'll go ahead and just try and... Uh, Take out Faulkner. I think we'll 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 use Defense Curl first when we do Faulkner. I think that'll help us out a little bit. Go ahead and take a drink. Ooh, hit me with the bubble. Ah, oh, all right. All right, we're gonna level this guy up. Come on. Boom, gotcha. Data usage warning, what are you talking about? Hmm. I'm not sure about none of that. All right. Come on. One more, come on. Come on, give me something. <laughs> there we go. Don't hit me with a, uh, don't hit me with no more poison, though. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, there we go. Doing some damage now. Looking good. Looking good. I think we got this. <laughs> Center it only. This is ridiculous. I am a little bit worried about some of the later stuff. Let me tell you, trying to fight, like, Claire, that's gonna... That's gonna be a bummer. <laughs> I think like Jasmine won't be too hard. Um, like a couple mud slaps if we've got Surf on there, that'll be a good one. That would be able to take her out pretty quick. We'll just have to see. Alrighty. All right, old old Faulkner here. All right, guys, let's see what we can do. No safes coming. Take a beating. Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of magnificent bird Pokemon. And I'm sure everyone knows the fun fact that Bird was the original flying type, which you can still find in the code of Pokemon Red and uh, Blue and Yellow, I believe. It might still actually be in this one too, I'm not sure. Like just as leftover data since uh, this particular game, ooh, should have threw a berry on you. Since this particular game runs off of the same, uh, the same code. Ooh, there we go, excellent. All right, gotcha. Let's see. Okay, not bad. One more Pidgeotto. We got this. Underleveled Pidgeotto. <laughs> okay, just as long as it doesn't hit me ooh, with too many mud slaps or something. Hmm, I am a little bit worried. Just a little bit. Just, just a tad. I think we got this. I just gotta hit you two more times. One more. Okay, don't heal him. Do not heal. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> okay. Gym one is down. Level 12, Sentret. Darn, my cherished bird Pokemon 
eaten alive by a ferret. Can you believe it? There's just carnage everywhere. I can't even believe it, guys. Just, it's crazy. What do you freaking know? Alright, I'm gonna try something real quick to try and help the stream out. TM31, by using TM31. No, that didn't work. Oh well. It will instantly learn a new move. That sounds fantastic. Alright, mud slap. We're gonna go ahead and throw this on here immediately. Oh, I believe we are. Oh, 7 HP, my friend, you are doing well. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -bum. I'm a little bit bummed that Moxie isn't male because that means I can't breed Mudslap back out. But that's not too bad. That is okay. I'm really not super worried. Mudslap's not exactly the most powerful. It's really good for... I, I mean, it would actually be extremely helpful for uh, uh, something like the stadium, stadium itself, going through that type of stuff. Okay, X out, go back in. All right, let's go ahead and get this egg, just cuz, just to have it. We'll have a Togepi, that'll be fun. Ba -na -ba -na. Cool. Hey man, I appreciate it. And thanks for all the fish. <laughs> all right, let's go, let's keep going. I'm feeling good, we're, we've been going for like what, 40 minutes now? This is good. I had to reload the chat, so I don't know if uh, everything's gonna be there, but, you know, I'll still be trying to check in on those if anyone posts any of their comments. <laughs> All right, Route 32. We can catch ourselves a Mareep later. Do we need the Miracle Seed yet? No. No, we do not. Let's go ahead and just jump on in. Fight me. Fight me, boy. I haven't seen you around before, so you think you're pretty tough? I'm, I'm kind of curious why it took so long for games to really throw in a female option. It, it seems so basic, like most games should have it unless it's specifically a game that shouldn't, you know, like, you know, the, the first couple of Assassin's Creed where you play a character or, you know, you're playing God of War. Obviously, you're not supposed to be a female, but... Like games like this, where, where it's really an RPG-ish, where you have a lot of character customization. I don't know. Maybe it was just sign of the times. Just it, it is what it is. <laughs> oh man, that's super Sonic. That's gonna be a, it's gonna be a killer. Ooh, cool. Broke through. Very good. Nice. Gotcha. Cool. Leveled up. Excellent. Let's see, we're at level 13, so we've got 19, 15, 17, 20. Special defense is looking fabulous, which is really good. It would be more helpful to have a little bit better base defense, because we're going to be fighting, well, the one thing I'm weak against is uh, fighting types, so I'm a little worried about that. Um, Chuck is going to be maybe the scary one maybe we'll see because dynamic punch has such a piss poor accuracy i might actually be able to like mud slap my way through it even if he hits me and i lose immediately i can just try again it is what it is <laughs> all right do we want mud slap that high i don't think we do let's see descending that looks good what do we want to do Let's just give it a shot. See how much damage. Ooh, not bad. How much damage are you gonna do? Not bad though. Okay. We'll be able to make it to like the Pokemon Center at this rate. Let's ride it, fail boy. Oh no, I'm fighting a girl. Sorry, ma'am. 
<laughs> Picnic or Liz. Yeah, I can get your number too. I won't bother with it though. Thank you. Thank you though. Oh no. Maybe it'll be a Mareep. Oh, nope. Another ghastly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Kind of glad that they put ghastly kind of wandering out here. Give me something to worry about. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, I can fight you. Need that precious experience. That glance. It's intriguing. Don't be weird. Alright, Anita ran. Another one. Oop, hit the mic. Quick attack. Cool, that's much better. Very good, very good. Cool. I think we might... Yeah, we'll be... We're gonna be evolved by the time we hit, like, Slowpoke Well. <laughs> I think I might be evolved even to... I might actually be evolved before Union Cave, which would be fantastic. We'll already be way ahead on the game. We'll be able to take out quite a bit of things. <laughs> Said I wasn't going to sit here and train and waste time, and I kind of did, but <clears throat> one of these guys has a magic carp, and that has really good speed for me. What is my HP at? I think we'll be able to do it. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Freshly got It's you. You've got the five magic carp. Ugh. I'm sorry to put you all through this. Oh, nope, not you. It's a different one. Okay. But we'll take it. We'll take the experience. We need it. All right. Ooh, it missed. Thank goodness. Stuff like that is going to be what I have to really watch out for. Ooh, now that I'm thinking about it, that's the stuff that's a little bit scary. <laughs> Might have to stock up a little bit more on potions and berries. Uh, all right, let's try this. Let's try a mud slap. Bring him down a little bit. And then if he tries hypnosis, at least there's a little bit better of a chance it'll miss. Oh man, hit me again. Cool, looks good. Cool, we're gonna level up immediately. Well, not immediately, but here soon. All right, where are we at? Still got plenty of health, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead. Made you lose that fish. It was probably a uh, Magikarp, my dude. Let's see, did the old Facebook group called something like the Fisher with six Magikarp or some such clothes? I haven't seen him or them posting in a long while. I'm not sure, I've never heard of the page. Uh, um, I guess I don't really, I'm not big in the community, I suppose, but uh. Man, that's hilarious. I can't believe someone made a page for it. I mean, <laughs> it sort of makes sense. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. You don't need that many. Good lord. It's like, wh what are you ever going to do with that? Like, unless they're all evolved, buddy. You're, you're going nowhere. And even if they are, I remember beating Yellow with a Pikachu. I, I mean, if I can do it, come on. Your Gyarados ain't doing nothing. Your, your, your Magikarp ain't doing nothing. Just, just don't. Try something better, please. Ooh, this is a heavy one. This one's level 15. Ooh. Hopefully this guy doesn't know Flail. That might actually knock me out. I'm gonna go ahead and give this uh, a little bit of mud. All right, go ahead and quick attack you. Bam. Just keep splashing, my dude. Keep splashing. You got this. Oh, you are doing fantastic. I've never seen a trainer with such poise and elegance. Such grace and beauty. <laughs> All right, one more. Come on. I think this one's weak also. Level five again. Okay, cool. We'll take you out. 
I think we're gonna get evolved right before Union Cave. This is perfect. That's gonna put us nice and ahead of the game, and that's really good. That's good. That'll boost up our uh, uh, strength of uh, being able to kind of speed through this. Cause I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste all the time. I, I, I'm having fun, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna be here for the next like you know fucking fifty years. Pardon me. <laughs> Oh man, quick tax running out. <laughs> We're gonna have to get all this over with. Alright, not bad. Got that RNG on our side right now. Come on, Peck. Alright. Ooh, critical. That's not what I wanted, though. Cool. Ooh. All that experience. Do I want Ralph's number? Ralph tells us when... Quillfish is in the area. Everyone's a uh, least talked about Pokemon friend. <laughs> I think think that's a Pokemon page or a uh, a Facebook page online. Something about a uh, Quillfish being the most under. No, no, no. I think I saw a post on someone's uh someone's page. They posted about Quillfish just being ridiculously underrated, and then someone actually going through and beating all sorts of stuff with one. Or like teaching an explosion or some some nonsense. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go back and get this uh, EXP, my dude. Found some good Pokemon on the grass. I think they'll get eaten by this ferret. Oh, my dude. Youngster Gordon's gonna battle. Excellent. All right, we are fresh. Let's go ahead. Wooper is such a crazy Pokemon. That thing just throws you off. But not today. I don't know why I read Iron Tail. That would have been scary. <laughs> that would be fun to throw on this guy as well. Iron Tail. I really love steel moves. Even if they're really bad in this particular game. Alright, I think there's one more trainer. She gives us the poison bar, but we're not going to do anything with poison quite yet. I might go back and grab that anyway. Let's see, must have gone down the page you must be talking about. Found two, but since I haven't liked either of those, it's not the original. Yeah, more than likely. And that's a bummer. I'm trying to keep the particular page I'm helping on alive. I know I'm a, more of a recent-ish admin on there, but it, it's been fun. It's really cool just being able to post pictures and, you know, just kind of chat about the stuff I'm doing. Trying to keep it as, as Pokemon-related as possible. I know I posted a picture of the uh, custom light that I put inside my uh, N64, and it's glowing purple, which is really fun. And that actually got pretty good... Uh, Pretty good hits in terms of like attention, likes, and all that, which is really fun. Um, and heck, even posting the pictures of just the games when I got them in, people just loved it. And that, that's fun. That was really cool. I didn't expect that sort of, um, I didn't expect that attention at all from that type of stuff. So that's why I decided to start streaming. Let's see if uh, we can at least have a little bit of fun with this sort of nonsense. <laughs> I mean, the fact that I'm doing all of this, uh, you know. <laughs> being able to play a freaking game of Pokemon with only a Sentra. Let, let's let's make this something. Let's make make this run something good. <laughs> and it is techni yeah, it is technically Pokemon related. You're right, absolutely. And I think that's part of why uh, it did pretty good. Oh, here she comes. My long for it. Oh, that's adorable. This is perfect. Fantastic. Moxie evolved into Ferret. <laughs> Alright, let's go heal up real quick. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, we're doing great. This is moving along. This is moving along really well. Cool. Cool stuff. I think we're going to be able to uh, maybe at least get up to Whitney. We'll see. <laughs> I'd like to at least get that far. 
I need to find where uh, Swift is. I think you get Swift in here. I'll have to dig around and poke around in this cave and find that. Swift is something I'm definitely going to want to add on to this. Probably replace out Tackle or something with that. Oh, it's such a bummer. Let's see. I don't think I'll do that immediately. I think we'll find it and at least have it in the inventory and all that. Um, and then from there, we'll have to think about it. I don't know if I want to throw, well, Swift isn't really going to do anyone else a whole lot of good for a very, very long time. And you know what? I might, since we're going to be, hmm, you know, Sunday is coming up in a couple of days and this is running on the actual clock. So I think what I'll end up doing is I'll wait for a return because that's what a lot of people were telling me to wait for in the first place was to use return instead because return with max happiness which oh this baby is going to have um that's gonna be 102 uh base attack then you add in you know a stab on that that's gonna put you at uh 153 <laughs> which is insane oh i think that'll be fantastic 153 per attack definitely cool i think that'll that'll be what we end up doing we'll, we'll go ahead and throw return on this guy instead and this will save us our uh our swift tm for other stuff if i want to try and use it competitively though i think you can get one in uh yellow as well so i think uh when i'm playing through that we'll be able to swap some moves around i'm really excited for that now i can well i don't know hmm. i'll have to look it up i had issues when i was a kid i had issues running the missing no glitch on yellow I don't know if it's possible on yellow I'm, I'm pretty sure it's possible I'll have to see if I can make it happen but if I can do that then I'll at least be able to have a little bit of a an edge on time <laughs> wasting time in terms of like cloning stuff and uh, being able to get like a bunch of HP ups or something in order to quickly train stuff up for competitive and whatnot so that's an idea I might be able to do that Thankfully, these guys are low level. Goodness. Beautiful. There we go. Another Geodude. Got this. Alright. Go ahead and stand up and stretch for a second. Oh, man. Oh, can't sit there all day. Oh, man. No, I didn't sit there all day. I was busy today. I was smart. Oh, oh much better. Oh. I had to go get the registration on my car renewed. Uh, that needs to be done this month. It's going to expire. So I had to go do emissions. I went to go do it yesterday, but <laughs> I got there and the lady tells me, uh... Your front tires are bald, and I can't drive that. And it's like, oh, dang it. I need to go get tires then. So that's what I went and had to do today. I went and got tires, then I uh, went and did the emissions, went and passed that. So I got all that done, did a little bit of adulting. Sent some to mom. Thanks, dude. All right, we're going to have to go heal up. We're out of mud slaps already. <laughs> Can you believe it? Ugh, it's a rattata. Hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and take you out. I want the experience. Let's go ahead and hit 16 now. Hey, there we go. Alright, let's look at where we're at. We're at level 16. Speed is 39. That's really up there, and I'm happy for that. Attack is up there too. Special defense is pretty good. Defense is really good. Cool. Well, not really good, you know. <laughs> I think it's high enough to where uh, we'll be able to make this make this last. Hmm. 
What in the world? Oh, I dropped the lid <laughs> into my drink. Oops. Cool. Let's go ahead and make it on through Union Cave. Na, 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 na. I think we'll wait on berries. I don't think we need to put another one on there. And that's something else I plan on doing. Uh, probably during the off time, I'll, I'll probably go around collecting berries and have a nice horde of stuff so that when we do go around and start playing and beating stuff, we'll have a nice horde of uh, items to use in case we're in the Elite Four and I need to heal up and I don't have any Hyper Potions. I'll have uh, 60 berries there to heal up. <laughs> It'll be perfect, absolutely perfect. I think what I'll do for this one is I'll actually go for my shiny onyx. That's something I've wanted. Mm, but I don't know if I can, I don't know. Mm. See, I might, I might just, just to try it, but in terms of breeding, it's 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 not a guarantee because I can't breed the gene out of the Gyarados into Onyx. There's no compatible way to do it, which is a bummer. But I will be able to breed it um, out into a new furret, and I think I'll do that because once I want to do my um, my double edge furret for competitive wall playing stadium itself, that's gonna be really helpful. Being able to almost one hit KO everything, good lord. Cause that's 120 with stab, Good goodness. Goodness, that's a that's a, an atrocious amount. Alternatively, I was actually thinking I might do slash because slash is 70. Um, if you get critical, it doubles that. And you get a stab on top of that. So let's do 70 plus stab is 105. Plus critical is 210. Like, that's kind of good. That's kind of really good. But the only thing is you have to risk not getting the critical. Like, at least if you're doing, at least if I'm trying double edge, I, I lose a little bit of HP. But once I got leftovers, that'll heal that right up. Ugh, I don't know. We'll have to see. I really like the idea of a double edge for it. It's it's ridiculously OP. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure they fixed slash in this game. In in Gen 1, it was bad. It was broken. Like anything that knew slash just instantly got critical hits. It was it was ridiculously powerful. Like the minute you got slash, you just rolled with it. It it it, it would be silly not to. <laughs> All right, almost there. I'm gonna skip all these wilds unless we find something shiny. Hey, buddy, it's an onyx. Nope, we're gonna skip you. As much as I want those defense points. I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you're my collecting rival. Boy, if he was a rival, you'd give me your number, and then you'd give me your free stuff. Because that's all I want anyway. Larry. <laughs> Alright. Oh man, that thing's eye looks kind of off, doesn't it? I mean, if you squint, it's okay, but it's, it's left eye just looks kind of weird, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you're a poor Pokemon. You challenged me. Alright. Go get that item below. If you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, having a five foot tall ferret though, that's a little bit scary, let's be honest. You see that thing running up to you, it's 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 gonna frighten you. <laughs> no doubt about that. All right, and with the mud slap. Oop, fix the mic here. Accuracy fell. Cool. Oh crap! I went one too far. That's fine. I think we'll be able to take him out. Get that stab.
flash. Awakening. Cool. I'll need that since everything wants to put me to sleep, it seems. Thankfully, thankfully we've really avoided it. Just that one ghastly wall training earlier. <laughs> All right. Almost out. We'll go ahead and fight Anthony over here. Hey, Steelix. So this is the god, the myth, and the legendary Furret. Yep, that's that's the one. We're doing it. <laughs> we are we are doing it, my dude. We got pretty far so far. We're well, I wouldn't say pretty far. It's almost silly how long these games take, like... I, I, I like to play with the animation off, like battle animation, just because it, it, it makes the games run faster. I don't really care for the animation and all that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm too old. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I usually play with the animation off and the game's going a lot quicker, so... Uh, leaving the animation on's been, been, been fun. It's, 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 it takes a little more time, but at least it's... It's more interactive-ish. Let's see if we don't have to waste it. Ah, gonna have to do one more. Not bad though, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> cool, let's see. Yes, 17, beautiful. 34 attack, 41 speed. Ooh, we're gonna need a boost on that attack later. Oh, yes, fight him a chop, get that attack. I'm really going to have to rely on these uh, stab bonuses here. <laughs> cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. Cool. Doing good. Doing good. Take another drink here. Ah, ooh, out of soda. A useful item shopping, huh? Cool. Looking good. Oh no, is that a team rocket? We can't have none of that. Oh, and we can do the apricorns and such. We can get a ton of good pokeballs. Oh, wait till you see my nice and organized inventory later. It's not organized now, but once it's all set up and we've got tons of berries and everything, it's gonna look really good. Go pick us an apricorn. Cool. Let's get this started. I think we're going to be able to beat Bugsy. I want to make it to at least Whitney. Like, m maybe not beat her, but at least get there. Actually, I think I want to beat her too. We'll have to see. <laughs> I think it'll be kind of funny to do that just because it's, it's, it's so silly. Using a freaking ferret only. All right. Uh, go ahead and get another stretch. I'm gonna. I know it's unprofessional, but I'm gonna grab a soda real quick. So bear with me for just a split second. Text going so fast, I only see balls. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, you guys are great. <laughs> hey there, Chris. The guard up on top took off when I shouted at him, but then he uh but then I took a tumble down the well. You dang fool, what you doing? What you trying to fall down here? What you shouldn't anyway. How guts you are in my place. Oh no, I got this, my dude. I got this. I pick up everything and never touch them again. No, I'm with you. I'm definitely with you, my man. Fell down here. I think I'll vent my anger by taking it out on you. Yeah, no. I, I mean, a lot of the stuff in the inventory I'm just going to sell. I'll take it for money and go give it to mom. Let her hold it. She'll buy me some decoration items for the home. And I can show you that stuff in stadium, which will be fun. <laughs> Sorry if I'm jumping through the text too quick. I'm, I'm mostly just kind of jumping through. I'm not really playing for story right now. Just trying to play, you know? I'll slow down if you need me to, though. 
<laughs> it's past 4 a.m. That might affect it. Yeah, buddy, come on. If it's that late. <laughs> All right. Oh, doing fantastic. Holy crud. <sighs> Sent for winning? Sent some to mom. Thanks, mom. Bum, 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 ba -da -ba. <laughs> Rip Ratata, yeah, that thing got destroyed. <laughs> if I want this story, I'll play it myself. You got it, man. You got it. Sent out a Zubat. Ugh, just gonna have to keep hitting him with them quick attacks. It's kind of a bummer I can't get a dizzy punch on this guy. That would be amazing. Oh, you're still alive? Hello. Dizzy punch would be a fantastic move for this guy. Goodness. Hmm. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna wait to do mm, the egg at the daycare. I think I want to maybe save like uh hold out and try and get a a dizzy punch Pikachu. Well, maybe Pichu. Maybe we'll see. I think it would be fun just to have. <laughs> it would be silly. I don't think any of the baby pokemon that can get the special dizzy punch off of the egg uh really benefit from it, which is kind of a bummer, but you know, being able to confuse a Pokemon and hit him at the same time is just fantastic. I mean, but will you have a fur it only? Yes, always. <laughs> oh, you're talking to the other guy. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no, what I'm doing is just silly. Oh, this is ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe I'm proving a point. People, people online are always just like, fur it only, really? No way, that's crazy. It's like, of course it's crazy, that's the fun of it. Look at me, I'm doing great. I'm already level 17. I'm doing fantastic. I'm about to be 18. We've been here for like, what, maybe a little over an hour? Doing pretty good, it's pretty interesting. Trying to learn Fury Swipes, new no, thank you. Yes, absolutely stop learning them. Oh, awful attack. <laughs> Almost legal. Oh, I am legal now. <laughs> Furt's gonna be working at the strip club later. You never knew. <laughs> oh, too strong. Yep, that's me. That's me and a furret. Oh, looking great. Oh, no more of this struggling. We are just blasting through it now. Team Rocket, my friends, you are blasting off. <laughs> Depends on where you live. True, true. That is true, I suppose. <laughs> Let's keep it clean, though. You know, we're playing Pokemon here. This is a kid's game. E for everyone, my guys. <laughs> All right, leader of the uh, of the rocket grunts we got down here. Come on, lowered accuracy and hit me with the tackle. Come on. Which does more? Oh, oh, it's quick attack, of course. <laughs> this is this is just going fantastic. I, I can't believe this is going as well as it's going. I think I'll be able to beat Whitney pretty quick also. This is great. Yeah, Team Rocket was broken up three years ago, but we continue our activities underground. Now you can have fun watching us stir up trouble. What a bunch of weirdos. Way to go, Chris. Team Rocket has blasted off. My back's better, too. Let's get out of here. All right, I'm out of here, dude. Uh, I do want the lure ball from you, actually. I'll take it. Holy Chris. Whitney got no shot at this. Ugh. That is, that is correct, my friend. We are going to destroy Whitney. No, I do not have an apricorn for you. I'm keeping it for now. You can have a whole day of rest, my dude. <laughs> All right. Let's 
go ahead and heal up and we're gonna take on our gym leader over here and then we're gonna have to go catch something to teach it cut so I'm not gonna teach cut to a uh, ferret that'll be a waste I'll we'll have to keep something in there and you know I don't even think I'll have to knock it out like I'm I'm, I'm doing so good <laughs> we'll probably go back and catch something weak we'll see we'll see I think my, we might be able to like catch uh bell sprout outside of the union cave or an oddish actually it's nighttime perfect I can actually just catch an oddish in the uh Ooh, what is the forest? Elex forest. That's what it's called. Teach tut, cut to my original starter. I might be able to. That is an option. Uh, it's Cyndaquil, and I'm pretty sure Cyndaquil can learn it. That just depends. We'll see. If so, I'm definitely going to do that, because that'll just save me the trouble of having to go catch anything. Or catch an Oddish, because then I can teach it Flash eventually once uh, I decide to go pick that up. We'll just have to see. Doing a lot better though. I think we're uh, a little OP right now. <laughs> and I am okay with this. Ooh. See, and Caterpie survives because it's got all that HP. Let me tell you. <clears throat> Weedle, no thank you. Boom, ooh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's just because they're good levels. <laughs> All right, we'll take them out though. Not a problem. Cool, I think we'll be able to take on Bugsy with at least level 19. Well, definitely level 19. Come on, give me them stats. Pokemon evolve young, so they get stronger that much faster. You know what else evolves young? It's a Sentret. And when you got a Furret on your team, man, let me tell you, you can blast through the whole game, apparently. <laughs> Alright, level 7, easy. We can take that out. Boom. Not bad. Hey, I think I got four uh, HP off of that. That's really good. Speed is going nuts. Attack is uh, doing pretty good. Could be doing better. Wow. That was really good. <laughs> cool. What else we got? Beedrill. Ooh, you got the whole family, my friend. Oh, it's too bad they're all getting knocked out. Furry attack. No, no, no. Look at that two damage each. <laughs> Nothing. Just evolving isn't enough. No. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it is not. All right. One more. Let's go heal up. And we're going to take on Bugsy. This is going to be good. We're doing good. Doing fantastic. There's one for it, my guys. One for it. <laughs> Heck, we might even hit 20. All right. I think when I took on Whitney before, I was at level 26. I really didn't do a whole lot of grinding. It was mostly just actual playing. I think I just went up against as many of the uh, actual tr uh, actual trainers in the game to get as many uh, experience points up and uh, level up as good as possible. <laughs> Not even a Mega Beedrill would have helped. Eh, maybe. Well, I think a Mega might have might have helped a little, but still. <laughs> I think just level wise, I'm a. Uh, I'm OP, so uh, nothing's really standing uh, standing against me at this point, which is great. That is exactly what I wanted. This also will help me test out just to see uh, see how far you can go with one freaking Pokemon. I think this 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 is great. <laughs> <coughs> it's 
excuse me. Um, I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is gonna make me the authority on bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Oh, oh buddy, <laughs> you're doomed. I always thought Beedrill was cool. Too bad it always seems kind of weak. That's a comment. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I mean, I think that's why they added in Mega Beedrill to give a little bit more viability to like a, a sort of a favorite Pokemon. Because Beedrill is freaking cool, admittedly. I think it's awesome. Um, once they threw a Mega on it, I heard a lot of really good things, actually. Um, one, one of my buddies said that I, like Beedrill's just like one of his absolute favorites. So, let's see. Come on, don't poison. Oh, doing good, doing good. <laughs> we're, just, we're just eating through you, Bugsy. Just eating right through you. I should have named Moxie Raid, because I'm just like spraying these bugs and they're going down left and right. I think we'll have to be smart about this one. You did something weird last time, and I'm not gonna take uh, take any chances. Beedrill over Scyther, but yeah, 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 I'd, I'd agree. Scyther's really cool. I like Scyther like design-wise and all that. Scizor's really, really cool to me, but that's just my uh, love of steel types. <laughs> Oh, Beedrill, uh, less than Scyther, I see, yeah. I mean, I agree, but I, once they added in the Mega, I think it really changed it up a bit. It made Mega Beedrill really viable, but at the same time, Scizor also got a Mega, so I mean, what do you go with? It's just, at that point, it just depends on which one you like better, I suppose. Ah, uh, the Hive Badge. Oh, fabulous. Do I know the benefits of the Hive Badge? I don't. But you know what? I won. I'm doing really well. Ah, uh, TM49. Furry Cutter. If you don't miss. Sorry, I won't take that chance. Alright. Excellent. Look at us go. Alrighty. Uh, two badges in. Let's go ahead and heal up. We're gonna have to fight Silver over here. And he's got a Ghastly that I do not want to go against. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to mud slap it. Oh, let me get a little more comfortable here. Oh, there we go. All right, let's go take on Silver. Oh, you're going down, my dude. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha? Huh? Quit lying. You're not joking. Then let's see how good you are. <laughs> I forgot what game said this quote, but playing with your most favorite Pokemon will always be better than what po what people think is best. You know, I like the quotes like that. I really do. Um, the one that I can remember sort of off the top of my head is the one that Karen from this game said Karen of the Elite Four it's a uh, you know strong Pokemon weak Pokemon that is the only selfish perception of trainers a truly strong uh, a truly strong trainer can win with their or will win with their favorites that's what I'm doing that's what we're doing here today <laughs> sometimes you just gotta uh, you gotta break the mold See, now Moxie doesn't have Mold Breaker either, but, you know, you're, you're, we're going to break the mold anyway. We're, we're making it happen. We're taking out Zubats. Ah, fantastic. Krakana. Level 16? Yeah, no. We got this. I'm not worried. <laughs> Ooh, I might be a little worried. Let's see. Oh, no. No worries. For the rest of your days. Oh, 
You're just doing nothing here, my dude. And water gun's stronger than bubble. Bubble would have done you at least a little better. That lowers my speed. <laughs> I th okay, comment. I think at one point I did an all Zubat challenge. It was actually pretty fun. Yeah, no, I could see that. Like, now, if it, was it all Zubats or did you get to evolve them? See, if you got all Crobats, I could see it. I can see that happening because <laughs> Crobat is a monster. <laughs> now, if it's six actual Zubats, that's 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 quite the challenge. I hate the weak. Oh, oh, buddy, you've got a lot to learn. That goes for Team Rocket too. You are Team Rocket. You're like the the heir to Team Rocket, boy. All right, where are my HP? No, I'm at 40. We'll go heal up. Then we'll go ahead and go through. <laughs> Slow sl start, but after you got over the leech life, yeah, for the for the for the for that. Oh, with Crobat, yeah. Then then that could be a lot of fun. I could definitely see that. Like a, a bunch of teams of Crobats uh, with a couple different move sets. That would be fun. I think it was a. Uh, Gen 5 that introduced uh, acrobatics. Oh, acrobatics on a crowbat. Just, just not, not even a chance, dude. Not even a chance. You got some, some monster stuff with that. All right. I think we'll try to catch ourselves an audition here, just so we can do cut and flash when we eventually go back and get that. Oh, beautiful! And there you are, my friend. The weed Pokemon. Oh, who would have thought? Let's see. Let's try. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, I was hoping you'd hit. Hit me with an absorb. No, you know, let's 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 give it a shot. Let's <laughs> throw a Pokeball. <laughs> Let us see. Boom. Oh, it means no worries for the rest of during the day. It stays in the cold underground to avoid the sun. Good. Oh, what do we name you? We're going to name you Dank... Uh, Dank Memes. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's a lovely name. It's a lovely little name for you. Oh, we don't have cut yet. Duh. <laughs> I want that item. I don't need it. <laughs> Comment. Uh, when I was younger, I didn't think Oddish, not the evolutions, was actually a vegetable. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's it's a weed. It's like I mean, I guess it's it's a radish too, isn't it? <laughs> Or are you saying that you thought Oddish itself was the the vegetable? Because either way is hilarious. <laughs> I'm sure we all thought things like that. Like Farfetch'd itself. Like what a name. Um, I remember reading the name when I was younger and saying that's just a crazy a crazy name for a Pokemon. And then it turns out it was an actual word, Farfetch'd, <laughs> meaning like rare or something. And it's like you gotta be kidding me. That's a word. You're you're joking. Fine. <laughs> it's like I remember that blew my mind I was probably like nine years old and that I was just like what that's a word no way all right give me that cut hey no problem my dude it's HM1 <laughs> thought it was a radish yep exactly yep I'm right there with you I mean, we were young. We, we didn't know any better. Words just sort of sounded the same. Dank memes learned how to cut. That's great. Ooh, excuse me. So do, po do people eat Tauros steaks and magic carbs? I hope so. I mean, you gotta eat somehow. I mean, if we're out here making them faint, what else are they doing? I mean, I'm not sure. <laughs> Nostalgia is great. <laughs> it's 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 going pretty good. Let's let's just say that we're we're doing good on the nostalgia today. 
X attack. Oh, that just looks like money. All right, if we're gonna be fighting all these or finding all these, I think we're gonna be getting in the experience. I think we'll wanna keep our level up because I'm I'm only a little worried about Whitney. I got lucky on my first run. She actually missed a couple of the attacks. She tried um, something with Clefairy at first and it missed. And it was just pure luck. Otis will be on the menu just because I have to use cut. And then I'm going to get rid of it after this. And any other instance that I have to use cut, I'll just pull out Oddish. And if I have to use Surf, um, I might just be able to use for it. Mm, we'll get rid of that. Splash World of Stamps has strong enough strength to leap over skyscrapers. Now, where did I read that? I think I read that somewhere. <laughs> it might be like a Pokedex entry or something. Either that or uh, someone did the math somewhere for it. <laughs> oh, and not another duck. New thank you. I think we'll just run from you. I know that's not an item worth having. We'll skip it. This one is an item worth having. <laughs> I'm guessing, actually. <laughs> Beats game with only for it. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> you just have to get through this one thing. I didn't want to waste a slot teaching a uh, teaching for a cut. Fur is going to be for battles only. I'm going to go through the Elite Four with just a furret. Each battle with just furret. The only things I'm going to have to keep them on is uh, keep stuff on is for HMs and whatnot. Anything I have to go through with HMs, I'll have to do that. Because obviously I won't be able to do a Whirlpool or Waterfall or anything. That would be pretty much completely impossible. <laughs> so hopefully by the end of the game, well, I know I won't have... Um, a low amount on our Pokedex because I'm gonna have a ton of stuff but everything that gets streamed yeah it's gonna be every battle everything's gonna be just the ferret heck I might even run into the daycare over here and just deposit the uh, Oddish right away <laughs> plus so far we have beaten literally everything with just this guy we're doing really good so far just hoping to get some better EXP here soon. Oh man. <laughs> Not bad though. And hey, I got a I got a, a ferret with a name that's saved onto the cartridge. That means when I'm playing Stadium, I'll get a special ferret during the mini games. That'll be fun. How fun is that? <laughs> hmm. I know we can get Headbutt again in the store. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Because I wanna be able to beat Whitney today. I think we're gonna teach Moxie here Headbutt. And then we'll be able to, I think we'll be able to flinch Whitney out. We're gonna try that. Let's go ahead and teach you Headbutt now. Cause I can buy another one in the department store. So that'll work. We'll do that. Trying to learn headbutt, but you can't, but why not? All right, get rid of tackle. We don't need that. Just notice, but something that might be wrong with your microphone sounds only to the left channel. Ah, uh, yeah, that might be something that's going on. I'll have to mess with that to see if I can get my uh, stuff to run in mono. For some reason, it's running in stereo. Or I could just set up my second microphone. <laughs> We'll have to see. Actually, well, no, that wouldn't work. Dang. Let me see. I noticed two bits. <laughs> it's like I know is ASMR <laughs> in my left, so it's chill. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I I I dabble in, in ASMR stuff myself. I, I'd actually love to get into videos. Like it would be, it'd be, it's really fun stuff. I think the uh, exploration of what sounds and whatnot would be kind of interesting. Maybe not uh, something to stream, but you know, something to something to look into for future stuff. 
So let's see, I might actually be able to fix our audio issue real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and beat this guy and we'll try and fix that real quick. It won't be perfect, but it'll, it'll help I think. Down. And a diglet. Oh, can't wait till I have surf. <laughs> All right, let's try to fix this mic real quick. Now, it won't be perfect, but it might help a bit. We'll have to level her out. Let's see. How's that? Is that a little bit better? <laughs> oh, I know. No level up right there. <laughs> Come on. Just give it to me at this point. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's All right. Let's see if that helped. Oh, that is significantly better. We'll go ahead and scooch that over. Cool. It's like, what, one point? You know, we're going to check. Let's go to the menu and check, because that is just like right there. <laughs> 11. Ugh, come on. <laughs> Could have given it to me. Let's be real. Thankfully, I think I can defeat a hop ep. No problem. All right, speed is way up there. Ah, oh, it's a bummer I can't give this guy slash. Cool, I'm glad that helped, cool. It's higher in the left, but you can hear it in the right. That's good. Um, the, the right side microphone is gonna be a little bit further away. Uh, the left side microphone's like right in front of my face. Um, I think I'll have to invest in another microphone stand and we'll get them both set up it'll it'll be a stereo setup it'll it'll be just like some asmr for you my friends <laughs> it'll be a little bit weird but it'll be fun it'll be fun all right there we go joey my dude oh let's get together and battle yes we'll do that later Pseudo Wudo, do I want to catch it? Mmm. I think I might want to catch Pseudo Wudo just for breeding purposes. Because you can get some interesting stuff off of that guy. One of the things that I had uh, used Pseudo Wudo for was I think I bred Flail and Rock Slide into an Onyx, which is fun. Mmm. Where are we at HP wise? Oh, yeah. We're great. We're doing fine. We can take this guy. Boy, I'm but a clown. Cool. Oh, level 17 though. <laughs> Give me a little bit of a challenge. All right. There we go. Let's move that back. Scooch up. Headbutt. Let's see if that does it. This ought to take him out. Boom. There we go. You're a tough little kid. Oh, no, wait. That was a compliment. Oh, and this guy. Ooh. I might want his number. This guy, um, Todd. Camper Todd. Tell me I'm right. He's a camper. His name's Todd. Yes. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> the officers having growls, right? Just like the old show. Uh, let's get old school, right? I'm gonna have to snag this guy's number. He calls me in this game about um, department store sales, and I'll want those. Maybe just to pick up some Pokeballs and whatnot for uh, trying to catch stuff for Stadium itself when we're doing that. <laughs> cool. Almost there. 23. Let's see. We're gonna hit 23. We're gonna go through the underground next. I'm gonna have to wake up early one of these days and uh, go and try and find me a uh, 
what is it a male fanfy male fanfy yep I need a male fanfy so I can get that double edge and breed it into a ferret and then we'll be using that guy for uh, tournament play for stadium but for this run just uh, just the one Side, uh, comment here, Psyduck was my second favorite of the original Pokemon. Third would have to be Seal. <laughs> Seals are pretty awesome. <laughs> Dugong was actually one of my favorites just because I really like Ice types. Ice types are really fun. I feel like they're uh, a little bit underappreciated. Just kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Ooh, got booted from the game corner. I was trying to cheat using my Pokemon. Well, see, you can't do that, fool. Uh, Lapras, yes. I am right there with you, my friend. Lapras is a fantastic Pokemon. I think that's something I might want to um, use for uh, stuff in Stadium as well. Just because that thing's a powerhouse, goodness. <clears throat> Ooh, and a Grimer? Oh no. Oh, what'll we do? We'll have to headbutt it and... Oh, can you imagine headbutting a Grimer? We'll get absorbed right into it. Oh, that's disgusting. <clears throat> Number one entry, Bulbasaur. <laughs> hey, everyone's got their favorites. I like Bulbasaur too. It's pretty cute. I'm not, not really a fan of Venusaur. I, I mean... The design is just a little bit weird. I'm not a big fan of the design, but <laughs> messy. Yeah, tackling a tackling your grammar would absolutely be messy. Let's 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 hope it doesn't turn into something like that. Oh, or like lick a tongue licking one. See, look, there we go. Some flinching action. Perfect. See, this is gonna work out. <laughs> Boom. Twenty three. Give it to me. Eighty one health. Very good. Not bad at all. I think we're doing pretty well. Let's keep going. Let's pick up that coin case. Alright. We don't need any haircuts today. I think we're doing alright on that. If you know your type advantages, you'll do better in battle. Yeah. Yeah, I could. Or I could just use a furret. <laughs> Muck versus an Alolan Garbodor. Blech. <laughs> Garbodor, I love that thing. It is so ridiculously bad. I mean, look, you look at Magnemite from Gen 1, and it's 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 a magnet and some screws and, a, and an eyeball. I mean, that's not very creative. Garbodor is also not very creative, and that's why I love it. It's so basic. It's it's amazing. It, it, it it's like it's like just a classic monster. <laughs> it's just what you'd expect. <laughs> Freaking garbage bag came to life. Why not? I love it. I mean, that's all Grimer is. It's slime that came to life. Let's be honest. Ooh, shouldn't have headbutted. Maybe I'll get a flinch at least. Hey, what do you know? Not bad. That's how you power through it. I'm gonna give that another shot just to see. Level 9? Let's see. I didn't know Lick a Tongue had an evolved version. And it's named even worse. Licky Licky. <laughs> That's a comment. Yeah, no, it definitely has one. I remember that. I actually really like Gen 4 for that type of stuff. Gen 4 introduced a lot of, um, I feel like they were sort of necessary buffs to Pokemon that didn't already have evolutions like Magmortar and whatnot. That was awesome. <sighs> All right, and a slow poke. Ooh, not bad. I'm doing pretty good. But Oh, these slow pokes have so much HP though. That's what's gonna kill me off of this. <laughs> That's okay. Not too bad. Let's see if we can fix that a little bit more. A little bit better. There we go. 
That makes me mad. Well, you're gonna have to get over it, buddy. Alright. It's funny, I, I got my headphones on listening uh, to th the voice so I can hear what I'm saying into the mic and all that. And it does, you, you can hear it on the, the left a hell of a lot better, but... I also hear the delay of the game. I don't know if you guys hear that. <laughs> it's interesting. I hear the music and then there's a slight delay also. I don't know if you guys hear that. It's just kind of weird. Never had the privilege of Gen 4. This is a comment. Uh, Houndoom was from that, and I know he's the bee's knees. Houndoom is actually from this game. Houndoom is a fantastic Pokemon. You don't get to see even a freaking uh, Houndour until way late in the game. You gotta find him in Kanto, which is insane. Picnic or Kim sent out bull picks. All right, go ahead and give you a mud slaps. Not bad. Oh, and it missed. Excellent. I think we've got a pretty good setup here. Uh, <clears throat> boom. Couldn't win. No. No, you could not. Ah, let's just jump on through. Fight them all. I'm gonna show my girlfriend I'm hot stuff. I bet you are, my dude. I'm really happy that uh, the emulation on this has been running so well. I didn't expect it to actually work very well. Pretty sure, guys, you can hear my uh, heater there too. <laughs> So loud. And then there's the slow bro. Ugh. Thankfully I don't have to deal with that guy for quite a bit. But yeah, those guys are, are atrocious too. Elliot sent out Meryl. Oh, you got the HP that I want. Give it to me. <laughs> Alright, look at that. Critical. See, and I'm not even grinding. I'm 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 actually playing. That's what I'm really excited for. <laughs> it's like I really don't want to grind. I don't want to waste time. I just want to battle each guy, get it all through, and just show you that this is totally possible, dude. You can totally beat the game with like one Pokemon if you really, really try. And I'm sure there's lots of people who have actually done that. Like I said, I've done it myself before with, uh, like, being able to do it way back when with Typhlosion and whatnot. Oh, doing fantastic. Alright, who's next? Pokemon data off the radio, dude. You ain't hitting nothing. A Diglett. Ah. Uh, little finger man popping up out of the water. A little mud dirt down there. Hmm, <laughs> nothing. All right, you're gonna have to give me some better EXP off of this, though. All right, one more diglet. Boom. Oh, not bad. All right. Level 100 Magikarp beat the Elite Four and get past ghost types. All it had to use was struggle since... <laughs> That's true. See, and uh, who is it? Picaspri. He he recently did... Uh, he's a YouTuber. He, he recently did a run of, like, Ditto only. And it, it was basically the same type of strategy. Just struggle pretty much through the whole thing, except... He sort of broke the game, and he couldn't use Struggle at some point um, because the Transform and and Ditto just started to bug out or something. But yeah, that, that's definitely an option. But I don't want to. I don't want to take that. I'm hoping to. Uh, hoping to be able to beat it with uh, a little bit more skill than that. I mean, I, 
that is actually pretty skillful being able to break the game enough to actually do that. So, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't say it's like cheating or anything. Like, it's really clever. I love that type of stuff. It's it's like the the fear strategy you can do with a Rattata with Endeavor and um, uh, Quick Attack and uh, Focus Sash and all that. It's that same type of idea. All right, I think we can... Oh no, not all these mm, Voltorbs. I remember this fight. Oh, this is gonna take forever. See, there ought to be a page for this guy, the guy with four Voltorbs. <laughs> all right. Uh, Let's slap again. Let's see. I'm just curious, actually, as to how much it'll actually do. Hey, what do you know? Oh, critical. That's why. Break the game without missing. No. Yeah, apparently. Uh, I don't. I don't believe you used it. And you know, um, I, I I did a lot of like you know I've been watching videos and research on my own and stuff, and it turns out missing no itself doesn't actually bug the game out. All it really does is mess up your Hall of Fame into such crazy nonsense um and it jacks up that the sixth slot that is that is all it does like it doesn't actually mess with the data or anything it doesn't really m do a whole lot <laughs> thankfully which is great because you know if it, if it completely broke the game that would be horrible all right i'm trying to move this mic there we go that ought to be a bit better that ought to be much better in fact much better? Much better? Can't tell. A little bit better. I'll roll with it. That sounds better. Sounds more, uh, stereo. <laughs> I've tried missing, no finding. Never worked. You know, I can get it to work, but only on a red. Like I mentioned earlier, I can't get that to work at all on yellow. And I remember trying it as a kid, but maybe it's something I ought to try as an adult. I'm not sure. All right. Cool. Much better. I'm glad the sound is sounding better. We'll have to work on it a little bit better. Uh, I'll, I'll try and get them both leveled out. Um, more. <laughs> more, you know. Cool. We're doing pretty good. I think we can keep going for a little bit longer. I, th I think I'm going to finish this guy. We're going to go ahead and go. We're going we're gonna to go and try and take out Whitney. Like, we're just going to jump right through it. Because I'm really happy to be this far. I, I didn't actually expect to get this far. Um, let's see. Saw a video where someone caught missing now, and some blocks building switch places, and you could walk on some places you normally could. See, and you can use the missing no glitch to do all sorts of weird stuff. That That's possible. But... Catching Missing No on its own won't, like, bug the game. And, like, seeing Missing No really doesn't do the game uh, a whole lot of harm. But in conjunction with a ton of other stuff, yeah, no, that'll totally bug out your game. I don't know why I haven't gone to the bike shop yet. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Let's go ahead and go grab the bike. be able to travel a little bit faster Ugh. could have been some hacked version though you never know with the videos that's true oh oh I'm not paying attention why is that could you ride a bike and advertise for me yeah absolutely my dude mm -bum -ba -da -bum -bum -bum. Uh, potentially yeah it, it could have been like a, a buggy version or something I mean see and that's the thing is when when you're playing on emulators you can really run into some problems just because the emulator might not actually run it correctly or just other weird stuff which is part of the reason why i was like really stoked to buy a physical copy of all of this stuff because i want to be able to do it all totally legit i don't want to be able to hack in anything or cheat or, or anything like that which i mean if if i could have put a centra in the pokeball at the very beginning that would have been something i would have loved to do that would have been a lot more helpful 
But, you know, prepping the game wasn't too hard. It was really easy, in fact. All I had to do was beat a couple of guys. No, nope, beat one guy, Silver. Alright, I think we'll be able to get through Whitney today. This is this is going smooth. I think I'll even be a higher level than I was before. Or right at the level 26. <laughs> oh, man. And another one. Come on, look at him throwing his arms out. Over here acting like he's Horde. Oh, it is over, my love. It is over. Should we go this way, the other way? This way's fine. I believe there's only like the one, yeah, her. It's a big old clunky controller. Gotta use the N64 controller and not the stick. Won't let you. Oh, I wish. <laughs> I've actually got two controllers hooked in. One of them's got the uh, transfer pack connected with the game inside, and I'm using the other one so I don't have to wiggle it around and accidentally jostle it. And thank thank you to whichever person runs the uh, the crystal page on Facebook for that advice. That really helped me out. Because now I don't have to worry about the crystal uh, game being knocked around and accidentally losing data or anything, because, oh, I was worried about that. Good thing they have a target on them. Nowhere to aim the head, but that's right. That is absolutely right. All these Pokemon. <laughs> Centra specifically, let's be real. Oh, Meowth. Oh, that's something I want to do. I want to get a Payday Pikachu and bring that guy on over to uh, to Crystal just, just for training purposes. I, I think Payday Pikachu is hilariously fun. Plus, it's really good for earning money in this game. Ooh, a Snubble. Only the worst Pokemon. I'm sure someone loves a Snubble. I don't know. Snubble's kind of cute. How much do you think the Meowth's coin on their head costs? Oh, um... Well, okay, here. We'll have to put it into terms of, like, Pokemon money. See, they cut off Slowpoke Tails, and they're asking, like, a million... Pokemon money for it like that's pretty outrageous like uh, if they're asking that for a tail wh what in the world could they possibly ask for that little yeah ivory levels yeah that's what we're looking at <laughs> we're looking at some some illegal budget type stuff <laughs> oh a big round jigglypuff as seen from above is the classic joke Uh oh, level 26. I think we'll be at 27 for the fight. Uh, and if not, we might actually get it during, <laughs> which will be fantastic. All right, one more. One more. Boom. All right, cool. We're gonna go heal up and uh, and we'll do this. Let's see. But the tails grow back, and so they. Uh, yeah, that's true. I don't know if the coin's gonna grow back. All things considered. <laughs> so I mean, is that something you really want to take off of a Pokemon? I mean, what what's something else they sell? I know there's something else weird. That you can get in this game. It's like slope poke tails, radicate tail. No, radicate tail is the uh, the password you can use in one of the uh, things. No wonder Team Rocket's leader has a Persian. Yeah, maybe he cut the cut the thing off and forced it to evolve. He's like, screw this. <laughs> Who knows? Not me. That's for certain. All right, we're gonna go for it. Let's go ahead and go take out Whitney. I think we'll be able to do it. This is it. Oh no. Cool. I've got no worries. This is doing a lot better than it was. That's for dang certain. 
That beginning, it was a little bit rough having to uh, faint a couple of times fighting the uh, fighting the gym lackeys in Faulkner's gym. So, all right, let's give it a shot, my dear. Pokemon are cool. Well, I got into it too. Oh, there she is. Whitney wants to battle. All right, let's do it. Come on, flinch, because I know it's going to survive. Whoa, no way. Fantastic. One, one hit. Okay. And mill tank. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm so OP. I'm going to go for it. Yes! Oh, fantastic. Two more. And you know what? I'm going to hit her with a quick attack next. Yup. Yup. That ain't even going to do nothing, my love. That ain't going to do nothing. And that, that is how you take on. That is how you defeat a Whitney with one single furret. <laughs> one fell swoop. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <sighs> Fantastic, fantastic. I am a meanie. Oh, I did make Whitney cry. I, I made her cry with my very long and ridiculously powerful fur. It now give me, give me the badge. Ah, <laughs> uh, excellent. All right, it's gonna start getting tougher from here. This is where it starts getting a little bit more tough. Attract. Oh, fabulous. Yes, it is perfect for a cutie like you. You're, you're just so sweet. <laughs> you made it look so easy. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, this game, it's it's fantastic. You, you, you pick a favorite. You just got to roll with it sometimes. All right, we're going to go heal up. And I think we're going to call it good. Like, this was really good. I, I did a lot more than I expected. I blasted through all of this. Like, this is fantastic. All right. <laughs> We're going to heal up. See, and it is easy when you got a level advantage. Like, I have a superior level advantage compared to her. Like, she's down to 20. I got six levels above her. There was, uh, there was a lot less of a chance of her making that. All right, we made our money back too. Cool. All right, my 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 dudes, this has been fun, but we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to call it quits from here. But it, it we're we're doing real good. We're gonna have to do this again in uh in a week or maybe two. We'll have to see. We'll schedule it out for another Friday or something. And uh, you know, until then.